Hi guys! Did you know that 89% of online and physical stores use gift cards to loyalize customers and increase sales? In this video, I'm going to show you how our Yeet WooCommerce gift card plugin works and what are the different types of gift cards you can create. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. So with this plugin, you can add gift cards to your site. The first thing to mention is that there are two types of gift cards, okay? Physical and virtual gift cards. What's the difference? Let me give you this example. If we have a family member's birthday coming up and we don't know what to give them, we can simply buy a gift card and send it to them in an email. That's a virtual gift card, while the physical gift card is the one that has been around since always. A customer buys a gift card for someone and we send the actual physical gift card to the recipient's physical address. I have created these two gift cards. This one is the virtual and this one is the physical gift card. We're going to look into both types of gift card. Let's begin with the physical gift card. Click here. So as you can see, I have this one set up so that you can type the amount you wish to assign to the gift card. I can type in 123 or whatever I want to assign to this gift card that is going to be sent physically to someone I choose. Then we simply add to cart and we follow the same procedure as we would follow for any other purchase. We go to the checkout and when we get to the shipping address, we simply add the address of the person that we're buying this gift card for. Now let's go back and let's see the virtual gift card now. So here's the virtual gift card and there are three types of price. Fixed price, which would be if I would simply create a gift card that's worth $10 and that's it. I don't give any option to the customer. Then you can have a variable price where you add more than one option for the customer to choose. So this is the case. He can choose a $10 gift card, a $25 gift card, a $50 gift card, or the third type of price is where I give the customer the option to type in the amount that he wants to assign to the gift card. That's what we saw before in the physical gift card. Now, as you can see here, the virtual gift card has more fields than the physical card. Here's a preview of what the gift card would look like. This is what is going to be sent out to the recipient. We can also choose the image here. If we click on view all, we'll see all the images available. They are also divided into categories, birthday, Christmas, family, love. And there's an option to upload your own image. This is something that you can set up from the dashboard. So customers can simply click here and upload their own images to make it a more personal gift card. So once we choose the design, let's say that we chose this one, we can select the amount or type it ourselves. I'm just going to select the $50 gift card then if we scroll down, we have the delivery information. We're going to add both the recipient and the sender's information. We have the option to select the delivery date, okay? By default, it is today. But if we click here, we can choose a different date, okay? Like for instance, October 29. This is useful if, for example, we want to give this to a friend for his birthday and his birthday isn't until next week. So we can simply buy the gift card in advance and select that date. Let's add some information here. We're adding the recipient's name and email. Then we're going to add our information. I don't need to put in my email because this is simply going to be sent out to the recipient. And we can even add a message here to make it even more personal. And here we have the preview of the gift card that is going to be sent in an email to the recipient I added here. Another thing we can do is add another recipient so that this same exact gift card is sent to another person. Maybe we have two friends that have the birthday on the same date, so we would just add them here. 
so you see that by adding another recipient the quantity changed so now i'm buying two gift cards instead of one if we added this to the card view card i would have two gift cards in my card now the plugin also has a special virtual gift card called gift this product it's a gift card that you use to suggest the recipient to purchase a specific product with the gift card that you're giving them but you're still giving them the amount in a virtual gift card that they can use on that product that you're suggesting or on another one so this virtual gift card works by assigning a specific product's price to it for example let's go back to the shop and i'm going to select this black dot shirt so we're going to send the recipient this amount in a gift card, $38, not the shirt itself. This could work maybe for a birthday when you think something might be nice for a person but you're not sure. So you send them this suggestion saying, hey, you might like this product but if you don't, you can simply spend this amount on any other product of your choice. So when you enable the gift this product gift card, you're going to have this box and if the customer decides to purchase the gift this product gift card he would simply click here and he will get all of these options okay so he can choose to send the product image or another one of the many images i showed you before we can choose the delivery date here the recipient's information name email my information my message and here's another thing we have to pay also the shipping cost for this item so we can click here and pay also for the shipping cost for this item so we wouldn't be sending them the gift card only for 38 dollars we would be sending them the gift card for 38 plus whatever shipping cost it adds to be delivered to the recipient's address okay now let's go to the dashboard to see our youth WooCommerce gift cards plugins settings. Youth, gift cards. As soon as we click here, we see this panel with all of the gift cards that have been generated on our side. These are the ones that I bought when I created the two birthday virtual gift cards. Okay. They have the same purchase order, but they have different codes. I have enabled the automatic code generation here. Okay. So here you can see the balance if the code has been used or not i didn't set up an expiration date and as you can see here the delivery date is scheduled we can download a pdf file of the gift card or send now or again if it were already sent so this is the first tab the dashboard tab then we have the general tab here you'll find all of the general settings of this plugin like for example the date format i have selected this format but you have other ones to choose from and you can create your custom date format so here's the option to disable the code generation here's the gift card code pattern there's even an option here to allow custom amount which is what i have enabled and the reason why we saw that we could type in the amount that we wanted to assign to some of the gift cards then we have the style tab this has to do with the colors you can add your shop logo to the gift cards you can select one of the images as the default gift card image enable the gallery and here's the plugin's main color. Then we have the image categories tab. I showed you before that the images we could choose for the virtual gift cards were divided into categories. Well, here you can create the categories. You can add as many categories as you want. And you also add the images here. The, then we have the gift this product tab. Here's the configuration for this specific type of virtual gift card. I have it enabled. You can even show the gift this product button in the shop page. Here is the option to include the shipping cost in the gift this product gift card. And then you have colors and options for the email that the recipient is going to get. Then under recipient and delivery, we'll find options like 
allowing the user to choose the delivery date, which is what I enabled, to be able to choose to send those birthday gift cards on October 29th instead of today. We can choose here to make the recipient's information mandatory to ask for the sender's name. You can disable this and simply have the gift card be sent without it. That way the recipient won't know who sent it to them. It could be useful for a mystery gift or for Secret Santa, for example. And we have the card and checkout tab. This is very important, especially this option. Allow gift card codes in WooCommerce coupon fields. I would recommend you to enable this option. Why is this so important? I'm sure some of you have received a coupon or a gift card with a code and you weren't sure how to set them apart. So when you wanted to validate that code, you weren't sure where to type it in under coupon code or gift card code. But with this option enabled, it doesn't matter where the customer types it in because it would be validated in either one of those fields, either in the coupon code field or in the gift card code field. This will literally save us a lot of trouble. We have other options like show gift card field on card, the apply gift card position and more. Then on the export import tab, we can export or import gift cards into or from a CSV file and you can choose if you want to export all of them or just a specific date range. Here is the information that you can add. And lastly, we have the help tab. Here you will find the plugins documentation or video tutorials, frequent asked questions. So those are basically the different types of gift cards you can create with our Yid WooCommerce gift cards premium plugin. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.